In order to set up a new member, navigate to Club Management, Member File, and Setup slash Edit Members. From here, go ahead and select your club, and you're going to choose the first option, which is to set up another member. So I'll quickly point out what this screen looks like. However, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and use an existing member. And we can do so by clicking on the member number we see on screen here. The first thing you want to do when creating a new member is enter in a member number. Depending on the way your member numbers or codes are structured, you will have to determine the next available number before setting up the new member. It is recommended that every individual in a family has their own member number, but with their billings all pointing to one person. This structure is designed to maximize the amount of information that can be collected on each person for marketing purposes and is also useful if you utilize our Clubhouse online web services and email marketing program. A dependent, so for example a spouse and or child, can use the same member number coding as the primary, but with the addition of a letter. As an example, the primary member number is 001, the spouse is 001A, and the child is 001B. Within the main profile that you see on the screen here, we want to go ahead and enter in as much information we can about that member, including the following. You must have the member number, surname, member status, and date joined as a minimum in order to save the record. Familiar name is used for the member's commonly used name or nickname. Note that the home address gives you five lines. It is recommended to look at other member setups to determine the format your club is using for addresses and use the same format for all members. It is also recommended to use the same format for your phone numbers. For members with more than one address, you can go ahead and utilize the other addresses from the right-hand navigation, which will hold up to six additional addresses. Then you have email, and this is used for the member's home email address. Another email address can also be included in the business tab on the, from the right-hand navigation. Additionally, you can click the envelope with the plus sign beside the address field, where you can go ahead and create multiple email addresses and associate the member's addresses with the available modules. The statement options determines how the member will receive their statements, and your choices are printed, emailed, both, online only, or not available. On the right, we have the member photo. Photos can be uploaded from this page, or if the photo is saved in your designated photos folder as the member number, it will automatically appear. And lastly, you have membership type. The membership type is an optional level of membership related categorization that a club can use to organize their membership in addition to member status and fee billing schedules. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the billing screen. A dependent to another member has all their charges go to the primary member. So if this is a dependent, note the primary member in the member to bill field. Also, assign a minimum billing type if your club utilizes minimums. Click OK to save and go back to the main profile. Now let's take a look at fee billing. This is where you can assign codes for dues, assessment, fees, and more. First, you'll want to start by assigning the activity, such as the dues, assessment, or fees, and then you'll go ahead and choose your category. There will be amounts listed next to each category, so you can determine which rate the member will pay. You also have percent discount. If the member is getting a certain percentage off of their fees, you can set the rate here. Fixed billing. To override the amount billed, enter in the amount for just this member to be billed here. Billing arrangement. To override the schedule set up on the fee billing schedule, for example, monthly instead of annually, select the arrangement here. And lastly, bill to member. If another member or corporate account is paying for just this specific line, for example, the dues, 
Note the paying member number here. Click OK to save your changes and go back to the main profile. Some additional screens you may want to fill out depending on your club include the following. PAP slash credit cards is where pre-authorized payment agreements, either bank or credit cards, are displayed and can be set up if you have menu access. Custom info. If your club is collecting custom information, for example, favorite wine, hole-in-one, etc. Notes can be used to record any additional information that doesn't fit anywhere else. As a tip, it is advisable to decide what each note field will be used for. For example, you decide to use note number one to track the birth date of the spouse. That way, when trying to generate reports from the report generator, you can easily identify which field has what information. Mailings are used to configure various types of member mailings, including addresses for printing statements, mailing labels, letters, and envelopes. You can utilize the date setting to have statement mailings redirected to other addresses during specific times. Dependent. This is used to display dependents attached to this member account and set up relationship between members that don't have a financial link to each other. So for example, siblings or brother-in-law. These can be reported upon in the club report generator. Tea time management setup. This is used to set defaults for this member for the team time management module when making reservations, if they differ from the main defaults applied elsewhere. Other tabs that provide information regarding the member activity include Minimum History. This will provide a breakdown of the minimum spent and remaining for the period per day. Member Charges and Edit Log. These will display a log of all charges on this account. An Account Inquiry and History Inquiry will display all activity on the member's account, including charges, payments, purchases, etc. At the very bottom of the screen, you have the option to change code. This can be utilized if you need to change the member number. As a tip, you can duplicate this member by clicking Save As. This can come in handy for creating spouse and children accounts with the same contact information but different names. Lastly, make sure you go ahead and click OK to save the new member or any changes made to the member profile.